crew, Hollywood here. Today I'm going to take you through how to wire up a starter relay. Now the benefit of having a starter relay is you don't have that voltage drop that goes through your ignition switch and also you get full power from your battery to the starter solenoid. So I'm going to take you through how to wire it up and probably the easiest way to wire it up. I've I've installed probably hundreds if not thousands of starter relays on old school cars so I'll take you through that now. So what we have here is a, just a normal 12 volt 30 amp relay and what I've done is drawn the back of the relay here. So what we have here is we've got all the terminals on the back of the relay and then we've also got the back of the starter motor so we've got terminal there where your wire from the ignition switch comes and pushes onto here and then you've got, you've got your battery terminal here where your battery cable connects. So the best way to that I find to to do this is to mount this this relay um, either on the firewall or on the mudguard. So most new cars have starter relays in the near the fuse box but uh, the old school cars, a lot of them didn't have relays. So, so what I don't normally do is I'll normally have one of these, either 85 or 86, on the side as the earth, and I connect it to this terminal here. So when I mount it up to the firewall or, or the mudguard, I'll put a little wire, like an earth wire, that goes from the side here to 85 or 86 and put a little eyelet on it and screw it into there. So that's your earth for the relay. And then what I normally do is make a little bit of a loom. So I'll mount it up, I'll mount the relay up, and then I'll look at how much wiring do I need between the relay and the starter solenoid. And then I'll just grab a bunch of wires that same length. Now, the, the first wire is the connect you put a little little eyelet on this wire and you connect that to terminal 30 so that's your input and then um, you put another wire that you connect to the wire that normally pushes onto the starter motor but you connect that wire to 85 now 85 basically when you hit the starter motor the power will go to the relay here and once it hits 85 it'll actually engage the starter and bridge number 30 with 87. Either 87 terminal is fine because they're both outputs. So we'll need a wire from 87 to the actual starter solenoid and push that on the terminal. You'll have a wire coming from the starter relay which you just connect here and then put it to 85. You'll have another wire coming from the battery battery terminal on the starter over to the relay and this 87 goes back to the starter so that will actually engage the starter motor. So what that, what that does, it actually bridges battery and start and there's no voltage drop. So there's no voltage drop through the ignition switch or any other kind of um, terminals into the firewall, through the firewall, that type of thing. So that's it, pretty basic. And uh, yeah, it's very easy to do. All those wires will go in one loom. And yeah, piece of cake, and it'll solve all your uh, voltage drop issues. Come on, Hollywood. You think you could do something a bit more complex than that? Give us a break, mate. So there you have it, wiring up a starter relay. I know it's not rocket science, but I thought maybe this might be helpful for some people. Um, yeah, if you're not kind of inclined to do a bit of wiring, you know, have a go. So um, let us know what your thoughts are. Please comment and subscribe. Any uh, yeah, help would be great. Thank you. Bye.